My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Boy, don't we have a good looker for you here today. A 1964 Thunderbird with the Sport Roadster package, white leather interior, got a 390 motor, will push you down the road, no problem. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all this specs, study over 100 pictures, and that's where you'll find the price. Not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars and they are for sale. Go to volocars.com. If you're interested in watching our videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, the retractable tops down on this bird. Let's go for a spin. I sold this car a number of years ago to a gentleman. Unfortunately, he passed away, so we just bought the car back. Uh, bottom line, it seems to be a really solid, good-looking, proper car with an older restoration. Standing here looking at it, I'm sure what you see, it looks perfect. It's not a perfect car, but it's a good car, and it's a good-looking car. So underneath, it uh, looks to be solid. The floors, the frame rails, everything just looks like clean, solid, original metal. I didn't see any patches. I didn't see any rotten spots. So underneath looks solid. The front end components don't look brand new, but I'm sure they've been rebuilt. You look at the nuts and bolts and pieces. They're not caked in grease. They are relatively clean. Uh, same thing with the bottom of the motor. Actually, the motor looks very clean. You look up and you see all the bolts on the oil pan are clean and uh, it's painted nice. You see the alternator and the fuel pump. It's all clean. It has this cruisomatic transmission, also look clean. Original tag still on the side of it. That's the original one for this car. The rear end is the original one for this car with the tag still on it. It has a, a three to one ratio gear in it. Other than that, it's got a dual exhaust system. It's drum brakes. Uh, everything just looked respectable under the car. The body shows very well. It is straight. The body gaps line up nice. They line up real good. Beautiful color, Brittany blue. It's a light blue me uh, metallic with a clear coat, and it's very glossy, so it, it really shines. It looks great. And again, things fit nice. It is smooth. It's all smooth. Door fits nice. I don't see any cracking or issues like that. It's all real nice. The skirt fits real nice. The Sport Roadster, what it is, it's this lift off. This makes it a two seat Roadster. The two wing nuts, I think there's a clamp in the middle. Literally, it's so light, one person lifts it off. It does not interfere with the top up or down. And once it's off, you have your full back seat. So it's just this removable piece right here and the Roadster comes with the wire wheels. Here is an issue right here. There's a couple good sized blisters like size of my fingernail, two of them right there. And also there's like a mark, a scratch. It must rub the bumper when the lid is all the way up. I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. And the other issue is there's a bubble down here at the corner of this door. Other than that, it's smooth, shiny, looks really good. The chrome on the car is also shiny, straight, looks good. When I really got up on it, no, it's not new. It has a little bit of wear, but uh, the chrome looks nice and it fits nice. I see there's some nicks right here now that I'm looking, touched up right on the edge here. But this is a fiberglass lid and there's got a couple marks on it. I think the top actually does come down and sets on here, so there's a couple of marks on that in the paint. Uh, the windshield looks really clear. The stainless trim is real nice. The mirror looks good. They say he spent $36,000 on this car after I sold it to him, but they don't know on what. They don't have receipts. That, I don't even know how they know that. I, I don't know if any of it's true or not, but they did say he spent that much money uh, on this car. And... Clean motor compartment, the metal, the factory spot welds, 
Everything looks proper, not detailed, not show quality, but it looks proper. The cloth wrapped choke tube still goes up <clears throat> to the carburetor, has the original air cleaner and valve covers, has the stickers, the fan shroud, batteries bolted down, new cables, has a disconnect switch, has power steering, power brakes, new hood insulation. Now I said earlier it has white leather seats, it's genuine leather. Uh, they say he put that in after he bought the car from us. That's one of the things uh, that he apparently did. Uh, it is white leather Thunderbird upholstery. There are creases, like your leather jacket will get. They're not cracks, but there's creases in the leather. Carpet's a little faded. It does have Thunderbird mats. The interiors are so cool in these cars. You got the center console, and it wraps right up into the dash. You got the four round gauges. You got the long speedometer has the swing away steering wheel. It's got radial tires, so it rides nice. All the interior lights seem to be working. There's lights on the doors, lights on the dash. They're lit up right now. It has seat belts, which I think was still an option in that year. And uh, I think we're going to start it up, and I'm going to demonstrate the top. Just watching these tops is a spectacle. People, you'll draw people around to see the retractable top. With one switch, the, the lid's like a transformer. The trunk opens, the lid folds down, the top goes in, and it closes. But why talk about it when I can show it to you? And hopefully I don't take out any of these light bulbs in the ceiling. There is some pitting on the chrome inside here. Nothing's broken or beat up. It's the original radio, uh, power windows. The dash area looks nice. There's some chrome uh, pitting on the console. Runs real nice. They say it's good to have it running when you do the top so you don't wear it on the battery. It does need a certain amount of power to run that. The white convertible top does have one tear in it that I remember. I don't think I'm going to go any more than that. Inside this, we'll call it the trunk compartment. It does have the whole liner kit, does have a spare. The paint on the, tr the trunk lid is real nice. Yeah, there is there's one uh, slit on the convertible top. We'll make sure it's in our pictures. It's just a little one down towards the bottom. See, it tops in good working condition. These are just interesting cars. And here's that swing away wheel that I talked about. The, the dash and console is so unique. You got this retractable top. The Roadster kit makes it look like a Batmobile. They're just interesting cars. Knife handle, door openers, door panels are in good shape overall. So like I said, you got a very good car, not a pristine car, but it's got good looks. Seems to be an honest, honest, good driver. That's my impression of this 64 Thunderbird. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman on there. They will answer any specific concerns or questions you might have. That's at volocars.com. They can also get you financed. We can ship this car anywhere in the country. 
If you just like watching our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you click on that bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.